hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and today i am going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, online examination system in this uh, video tutorial i am going to explain you the profile action method in which you can uh, you, you know that uh, the form uh, from form data will be passed from the view sections to the controller so we have a student view model as a parameter in this uh, action method so first of all you can check the student view model is uh, dot picture profile so picture file is not equals to null i mean to say that if you uh, if you want to uh, update uh, your picture file and uh, the picture file is null it's not updated so the student view model dot picture file name equals to save student file as a method you can say first of all uh, create it and in which you can pass student view model dot picture file so there is the and student view model dot cv file name is not equal to null i mean to say that any updated in the cv file name so similarly you have to say uh, the same method will be passed at here because both are the pictures so in the form of pictures you can say or you can say that in the form of the documents so the same method you can uh, call it and after that you can say student service dot update async student view model and uh, return redirect to action that is the profile okay so just extract a method uh, generate a method stub and save student file and in which you can pass simple iPhone file so iPhone file is saved into your www root file uh, directory so picture file is double equals to null suppose your picture file is double equals to null then what happened I mean to say that there is a no uh, method in this uh, so after that you can say the return string dot empty and if it is not null i mean to say that uh, user won't update uh, any cv file name uh, as well as your profile pictures so that uh, the path dot combine method you can use it here to get the directory first of all so directory dot get a current directory and what is the current directory that is the ww root directory or you can say i web host environment you can use it here but because uh, but there is a no need if you have a directory dot get current directory uh, okay so so uh, the ww root uh, is the directory name and the file in, in the uh, subdirectory in the ww root directory and after that you have to save file uh, on the path as well as the picture file so save file uh, the path as well as the uh, from file so directory dot exist if it is directory is exist that is the for ww root and the file on the path uh, the given path you can say is not exist then first of all create a directory so directory dot create directory on the path where file name equals to what guid dot new guid dot to string and after that you can use underscore as well as the dot sign dot and uh, the file name uh, get it from the picture file so picture file dot file name okay dot split also uh, dot if any uh, dots is exist in the picture file name then just uh, split it and also picture file name dot file name okay uh, dot split method you can apply that here and dot dot length minus one okay and after that you uh, you can say uh, the path is path dot combine path and the uh, combine method is used to the directory uh, information so just file name you can say using resources resources what that is the string sorry stream and a new file stream uh, file mode is create a directory on the path so just file mode dot create and just for picture file dot copy to on the stream so picture file dot copy to 
in the stream okay that's fine it's pretty cool return file name okay so uh, that is the method uh, that is the action method to in the student uh, controller and add a new controller for the question answer you can say so just add a new controller and the controller is empty controller q1 a q1 as controller okay and uh, in q question answer we have uh, two variable uh, that is the necessary and the first one is the question answer is related to the exam service so exam service dot uh, underscore exam service that is a private variable and the second method uh, second variable is related to the dependency injection what is the question answers so i q and a s service and uh, make a private variable for that like q and a service oops okay and resolve that uh, both CTR in the constructor but you can you know that the visual studio will provide the functionality to extract uh, or initialize uh, the class property in the constructor uh, by using just uh, quick solving uh, things that is the generate constructor i exam service exam service i q and a service q and a service that is the initialization of your uh, properties private properties in the constructor and after that you can get all these questions answers related to the exams so just you can use the pagings also so integer page number is one and the page size is 10 and q and a service did not get all what page number and the page number page size is mentioned in the uh, method q and a service dot get all question answers and the second action method uh, that is just copy that and paste it here and change the name that is the create question answers uh, you you can create it simple thing so where model equals to new uh, question answer view model but it is not there so just use the namespace first of all so q and a view model okay and q and a s i think q and a s view model using online model dot exam list and exam id is there so exam list is what uh, exam list is uh, just calling from the exam service so exam service dot get all exams okay so all exam is there in the drop down list return view model okay so that is the create uh, http get create of the exams question answers so where we have uh, all exams is there and after that you can just post that uh, create uh, into create action method in the post action method so just uh, make asynchronous types task i action result and create a new create method for the http post okay so q and a s view model q and s view model and q and view model if a model state dot is valid then you can use a wait because a synchronous type of task is there so q and a service dot add async q1 view model okay and uh, q1 view model and return 
redirect to action method and the action method is going to the index action method so, so name of you can use it here name of the name of the index method that is the index method so i think return is not there so return view and in which you can pass q1 view model thank you very much for watching this video